Hello Facebook people, I'm Kostadinos. The new UI changes are here. What are you going to do with your old campaigns? In my other accounts right now, there are 97% of them that they have the new UI. Some other ones, not new ones, some older ones, uh, they're still stubborn and they have the old one. Uh, but for sure, this is a change that it's here and it's going to stay. I'm talking about uh, the stop of the ASC campaigns as we used to know them at the band that's shopping campaigns and now we have the ASC campaigns which is exactly the same uh, letters they're the same picture but it means advantage sales campaigns basically they unified the setup from manual and advantage shopping advantage shopping and manual to one thing which is called advantage sales campaigns and now we are having a lot of different things uh, spoiler alert uh, the crazy method is back and it's working really well and I see more and more people commenting about it the optimization that we're doing on the ant level it's not there uh, anymore and not a lot of people are just doing one asset with many ads I see more and more people going back to CBO optimizing CBO and all of that and uh, what are we going to do with our old campaigns is a big question and I'm going to answer this. Let's go into my PC. Let me show you another account to see how they look and the new UI and everything and I will see you there. Hi guys, I would like to interrupt this video in order to talk to you about my Facebook ads course. It took me six months of video editing everything and three months of video shooting. And because of that, I have created the best Facebook ad course in the world. Inside, you're going to find super advanced information, but information also for beginners. It takes you by the hand in order to teach you how to do Facebook ads from the beginner level to super advanced level. It has inside Loom videos from cost caps, speed caps, Loom videos from CBO, ASC optimization, it has chosen five sessions, inner circle sessions, and it has a lot of theory with whiteboard, also strategies that are working all of these years, things that I have developed, things that I know that are working because I have spent millions and millions on the platform. Currently, I'm spending between five and 10 million every month. Sometimes it's even more across 30 accounts and I have access to many, many more. So I know what is currently working and all the latest trends. And this is what I'm doing inside the course. I'm showing you live ad accounts with real spend and what is working right now and if you want you can click the link below you can go and you can check some videos that i have open free for you so that you can check if you like the course or not and decide if you want to buy it or not i will see you there so let me show you what we had until now because i still have one or two accounts we were doing this sales over here we're pressing continue and we were seeing this pop-up window the advantage uh, sale campaign. It was advanced shopping. This is how we were calling them and the manual sales. The thing that I want you to keep from this is that when we were creating this, it was having this structure. It was having campaign and that set together and all the different ads that we were going to put, which was this. These were the ads. Okay. So this was a different style from the one that we have now. Maybe this is why the, uh, the people are going to do more CBO now because it's not the same thing as before which we were working more with multiple creatives on the ad level and optimizing on the ad level with more dominant ads and stuff. Maybe we're going to do more CBO, who knows. But if you see over here, if we check one campaign over here and we edit it, what do we have? We have campaign ads set together and then we have all of the ads. Let's see now how this thing has changed and what we have now. So in the new style, we're going to have this. We're going to press create. It's going to be sales over here and it's going to pop this. No pop-up window to pick for manual and stuff. It's going to have this and we have campaign, ad set and ad, the normal thing. Now, I want you to check something though. Here we have a campaign, for example, this one. I'm hiding the name for, for obvious reasons that you're going to see that what are we having here is that this one was posted on March 2025. On March 2025, I'm pretty sure that this ad account didn't have the new UI change. But did this campaign change or it, this was an Advantage Plus shopping campaign? It has changed. Now it has campaign level, ad set and ad. This is bad news most of the times because whenever Meta is touching something from the past, it's actually getting ruined. But in this case, I haven't seen these campaigns from the past being influenced, having bad results for the KPIs of this other account. So what am I going to do is that I'm going to try to keep these old campaigns for a very long period, if it's possible, maintaining them on the other account because they are coming from the past. At least this is what, what I have been taught doing Facebook ads for many years, that if something is from the past 
and you can maintain it on the ad account, most of the times it's doing better than your new campaigns. This is what I'm going to do. This is what has happened with the old campaigns. They actually converted to the new style without getting killed, which is very good news because that means that means that we were going to have a lot of problems, which we had the previous year when they did similar changes and they didn't uh, work. More CBO with the new UI. The old campaigns try to maintain them. They have already changed. You're not going to be able to spot them by seeing if the campaign and the ad, ad set are the same because they have been converted to something new. No problem so far with the transition, but for sure I believe that some things are going to change. I'm seeing cost caps are not working so well lately. They're not even spending, I mean. And we have uh, CBO coming back uh, hard and fast and uh, less optimization on the ad level, more optimization on the asset level. I will see you for the closing of the video. So the experience says from the previous changes that we have seen inside Meta in the UI or other things, if something comes from the past, don't remove it. Just let it run there at all costs. I had campaigns in other ad accounts back from the conversion event when it was conversion event and not sales. And uh, I was still having them in the ad account performing really well uh, for a long, long, long period of time without any issue. And I was protecting them. I guess the agency that took this ad account and closed them, they have regretted it because they have never been able to have such a campaign spending so much, being super consistent uh, and not being able to activate it again. So if you have a campaign which is coming from the past and it's advantage shopping campaign and it's doing well for you, just try to maintain it. Take it as part of the average results. If it has some bad results for a week or two, just let it be there. Uh, try to absorb uh, with your other campaigns and with the average results be profitable. But don't kill them because I believe that these campaigns are going to be better than other campaigns, new ones that you're going to do. At least this is what I have seen from the other changes from Meta. Don't forget that if you want to learn more, you can check my book, you can check my course, which is super updated. I went through the trouble of doing new videos for the new UI, explaining the new things that Meta has done. Super updated, it has everything from beginner theory up to super, super advanced stuff like cost caps, CB optimization, the crazy method and all of these things which are coming back again and they're going to work for us and we're going to have them as our main strategy from now on and uh, you can also check of course my mentorship programs uh, my chosen five program and all the people that they have completed it with daily calls with me and until we meet again guys be creative and be consistent